here we are. It's the Mulberry Street Gang. Why? Because that's Mulberry Street down there on the corner. And there are all these famous characters who were down here maybe a century ago. So they all wanted to revolutionarily change the world. I bought the space real cheap and then I sold it five years ago, or I'm sorry, nine years ago. And the person was supposed to build a building and was supposed to give me back the ground floor because I wanted to continue my life here. And he never built the building. On September 15th, the space has to be sold by then. And meanwhile, I have six months in order to do with it as I want. So I decided I would put up an exhibit of art that I thought was precious and uh, it was confrontational. These pictures over here are by Jacob Rees. Jacob Rees went uh, into the underbelly of the society and showed the kinds of conditions that people were living under that really should have been considered unacceptable and afterwards actually were considered unacceptable. This over here is Nikola Tesla. Nikola Tesla, perhaps the greatest scientist of our time, invented alternating current, the radio wireless communication, that iPhone in your pocket. And when you look at what he had to say about things, you realize that he was also deeply humanitarian. Then we have Mark Twain, who's Tesla's good friend. He used to come down and visit him all the time in his laboratory, which was directly across the street. Here you have Puck Magazine and many of its configurations. Their main problem was with political corruption and corporate greed. Right now, the Puck building, beautiful Puck building, is owned by the family of Jared Kushner. They were the kinds of characters that Puck Magazine liked to talk about as being characters that we ought to pay attention to and be careful. And here we have, on this side, Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt was installed across the street because he was made the police commissioner. And I think to a large extent because of the influence of these guys, the Puck Magazine and this guy Jacob Rees, that they humanized Roosevelt. He's taking these antitrust ideas from Puck and he's taking these anti-poverty ideas from Jacob Rees. So, there's the show. You've seen it all. Steve, you're bringing back Puck. <laughs> That's it's right. about time. Everyone had forgotten about Puck. It's about time is right. Hi. Hi. What do you think? Hi. You like the show? Did you learn anything? <laughs> <laughs>